Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, it's been forever since I've actually done any lecturing, um, so this is not an act of, um, to be transparent, this isn't necessarily an act of altruism. I'm looking for some feedback from those of you who, and I know the community of people who watch the videos, so I know there's a lot of smart logicians out there, some professors and stuff, so um, these, this question might seem simple, and forgive me if it is, but that's the whole point of the internet, is to see if I'm headed in the right direction. So, um, this is not going to be a refresher, this is me asking the question, I'll wait for feedback because of some stuff that I'm working on. Um, gonna, the, the context in which the question arrives has to do with uh, re relational semantics within um, mathemati math mathematical logic. My mouth is sort of not prepared for speaking yet. I've been silent all day. So I've, um, I've constructed a really simple um, relationship between the propositional function and the individual constants. So the question is as follows. We know that we can say um, we can say that in this propositional function, x tickles y, right? x tickles y. And we know that we can substitute x for either e or numeri. It doesn't really matter. So the question is, let's see if we say x tickles y, and we'll say Ian tickles Mary, so that we can formalize it as uh, Ian tickles Mary, right? So that Tim is not what it means. It means Ian It's very simple, there's nothing revolutionary about that. Um, the next thing that we recognize is that um, we can talk about someone laughing, right? So that we can say that Mary laughs, right? So that this would be Mary laughs. Okay, and then finally, um, we can talk about someone tearing up, meaning that their eyes get welled with tears. So we can say that someone tears up. Um, uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, sorry, I, I did that wrong. Someone tears up, it would be... Um, unless for tears, let's use, since we've already used T for tickle, uh, we'll, we'll say wells up with tears. Wells with tears. And we'll use W. So that we can have... Uh, W, for example, M, which would be um, Mary Wells with Tears. Mary, right, Mary Wells with Tears. Okay, so we have Ian Tickles Mary, Mary Laughs, Mary Wells with Tears. Okay, pretty basic stuff. So the question isn't necessarily just that. It's, I'm trying to see if it's... It, Conceptually, it makes sense. I don't know the semantics of this. So it's one, a semantical question, but two, I don't really care about semantics, to be honest with you. I know I should, but I'm not a practicing logician, so the semantics don't really, they don't impede my sort of ability. The question is more conceptual. It has to do with uh, modal operators, necessity, and po uh, possibility. So if we, I mean, obviously you can create a, a pretty simple um, hypothetical from this, right? Syllogism. So that you can do, you can create the following, right? You could say, if it's the case that um, Ian tickles Mary, then it might be the case that Mary laughs, right? So, and then you could say, if it's the case that Mary laughs, then it might be the case that Mary wells up with tears, right? Which is, this is pretty basic stuff. Therefore, you should be able to say, relationally, that if Ian tickles Mary, then... Mary will wall up with tears. Okay, so even that I don't think is, you know, it's a step further, but I don't think that, that, that that's complicated at all. Um, the next point has to do with the introduction of the modal operators, right? So in terms of the modal operators, it would seem to say, it would seem to be the case conceptually, that to say, Tian, uh, uh, Ian tickles Mary, if I were to ask in real life for a qualification of the manner of tickling, if you will. This is an absurd example, but just try and think out of the box for a second, right? Um, you can see that some, maybe Ian was 
coerced into tickling Mary. He didn't really voluntarily want to tickle Mary. He did it as a consequence of coercion. or um, He did it willingly. He did it on his own. Um, it was quite in here until I started lecturing, and now it's not. But that's the way the game's played. Um, so um, it seems to be the case that you could, you could create a condition in which it was necessary for Ian to tickle Mary. Right, so I create a condition in which Ian has to tickle Mary, in a sense, right? It, it, it is now necessary, Ian, that you tickle Mary. And you could imagine that this, sort of conceptually, would be a consequence of um, an order that might be given. Ian, I want you to tickle Mary, right? If you, you can imagine, right? So, it should be the case, then, that we could talk, well, if that's possible, I need my eraser, excuse me, excuse me, if that's the case, then we should be able to talk about, um, and this is the point that I want to know if this makes sense, right? We should be able to talk about um, the necessity of Ian tickling Mary, right? It is necessary that Ian tickles Mary. I would imagine it's the whole set, or the whole, the whole um, propositional function. So the whole propositional function, this is where the semantics come in, and I don't really care, but, you know, you sort of encase the whole propositional function and say that it's necessary. So it's necessary that... If it's necessary that um, Ian tickles Mary, then, um, and here's what, here's, here's what, here's what, here's what's interesting, right? This is what I don't quite know. While it held before, I can't say that it's necessary that she laughs. So isn't it the case that if we talk about it's necessary that Ian tickles Mary, then since we know that laughter is a consequence of tickling, but is it necessitated by tickling, wouldn't it then be that it's possible that, um, uh, Mary laughs, right? If that's the case, if that's the case that it's possible that Mary laughs, then we'd have to ask ourselves on the condition sort of at time t1, like, did she laugh? Did she in fact laugh? Because I don't think it follows that it has to be necessary that she laughs, right? This is just me freestyling. This is new stuff, right? But conceptually it seems to make sense, right? If it's necessary that um, Ian tickle Mary, then I can't see why it would follow that it's necessary that she laughs, unless I created a condition in which it was, but I'm thinking real world stuff here, right? Then it's at least possible that she'll laugh as a consequence of as a consequent of her being tickled. If it's a fact that she laughs, it's no longer possible, it's necessary, right? Um, so maybe what we might do then is we might qualify it, this by saying that it's possibly necessary that um, Mary laugh, which we then know we can uh, on the next line, consolidate to, it's necessary that she laughs. If it's possibly necessary that she laughs, then it's necessary that she laughs. Thus, we can then say that, we can check, right? Did she laugh? No. Well, it's still possible that she could. Did she laugh? Yes. Well, then it's necessary that she did. It is necessary that she did, because she did. Therefore, and then the same sequence with respect to her tearing up, right? Then it's possibly necessary that she tear up. We assess, did she tear up? Um, no, she didn't. Well, it's possible that she would. Did she tear up as a consequence of being tickled and laughing? Yes, she actually did. Then we can formalize, we can formalize either the hypothetical syllogism connecting the necessity of um, Ian tickling Mary to the possibility of her tearing up, or of her um, tearing up, or the necessity of Ian tickling Mary to the necessity of her tearing up, but we wouldn't really know the final HS until a consequence of this state of affairs. This state of affairs is going to let us know um, what arrives in the conclusion, so it would be, it would be, it would be this, uh, if that, then that, uh, if that, then this, so I'm thinking it's this, that, then this would be in brackets, or this, that, uh, this, that, that, this. Ah! So the question is, does that make sense? <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. It conceptually makes complete sense, but I don't know if it's doable. I don't see why it wouldn't be doable, because we're talking about the necessity of um, his tickling her and the and you would see it would be the disjunctive 
possibility that either one is possible. Right? Both couldn't be false, but as long as one is true, then it's fine. Either she really did, um, she really did well up with tears, or it's possible that she well up with tears as a consequence of this. So, um, forgive the tremendous fiasco that's happening at a university. I don't know if people are changing their kids or something. Um, but hopefully that makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please, 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 the whole reason I put this up was for smarter people to tell me if I'm headed in the right direction. Um, I'm trying to sort of merge the modal operators with sort of regular um, semantic relationships um, and propositional logic and such. Uh, relational, um, relational, um, propositional functions, rather. Um, so let me know. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell. Have a good day.